the English class. English is the hardest language in the world. Why do you say that? I can't understand it or speak it. But this is only your first day in the English class. How do you pronounce this word in English? It's pronounced sign. What's a sign? It's a police notice. What do you call this thing in English? It's a hammer. What's the word for the things you hit with a hammer? Nails. You can say it that way too. How you ask for help politely? You say, "Could you help me, please?" Is it all right to say, "Could you please help me?" Yes. You can say it that way too. Can you understand spoken English very well? Can understand you, but most people speak too fast. How about speaking? Can you carry on a conversation? I'm really not very fluent yet. Learning and using English. Do you want to learn English? Yes, I do very much. Why do you want English? Because it'll be useful in the future. I want to learn English. Then you must speak it. Why must I speak it? Because you want to learn it. Do you understand the sentence? I don't understand it completely. All right, then I'll repeat it. Thank you very much. Did you understand what I said? No, I didn't. Would you say it again? Of course. I'll say it again slowly. That will help a lot. Please write down John's address. All right, but would you please speak very slowly? Yes. Do you want me to spell each word too? Not the numbers, only the names. Language learning problems. What are you studying right now? I'm doing my English assignment. What's the hardest thing about English? Pronunciation is the hardest thing for me. Can Peter understand French as well as English? Yes, and he can speak it well too. I can't speak a word of any language except my own. Neither can I. That man is able to speak three or four languages. Yes, and he can speak them well. I understand. Could you learn three or four languages? I could if I had a hundred years to do it. I'm feeling very discouraged. What's the matter? When people talk to me, they talk too fast. You'll have to listen faster then. Learning language is difficult. I wish there were only one language in the world. Then we'd have to learn it. That's the trouble, isn't it? Conversations about school. Does Dr. Taylor teach every day? No, only Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Is Dr. Taylor teaching right now? No, he isn't. He's working in his office. Why doesn't John practice anymore? He doesn't have much free time. He used to have a lot of free time, didn't he? Yes, he did. But now he's going to school every night. What are you studying this semester? History, English, and math. Which do you like best? History really interests me the most. Not all students do their lesson carefully. I do mine carefully. But your brother often does his at the last moment. And my sister always does hers a day or two late. How come you aren't at school this week? There aren't any class this week. Well, how come there aren't any classes? This is our spring vacation. Going to school. Why are you so worried? My sister doesn't study hard enough. Isn't she interested in school? School interests her, but homework doesn't. I'm worried about my schoolwork. What's the problem? I think I'm going to fail the examinations. Maybe you won't if you have more confidence. What are you going to study at the university? Probably history of English. You'll have to work hard. Yes, I've heard that it's a difficult school. What did you apply for? I applied for a scholarship. What school did you apply to? I applied to Eastern State College. I understand the boys' applications were turned down. Who turned them down? I think the college admissions committee. I'd advise them to try again. Family and relatives. How old is your son? He's ten years old. Is your daughter older or younger than him? Younger. She's only nine. Have you got many relatives here? Yes. An aunt and an uncle and four grandparents. Do your aunt and uncle have children? Yes, I have three cousins. Do you have a picture of your family? Yes, I've got one right here. Do you have a very nice family? Thank you. Jim looks like his father. Do you and your father look alike? There's a little resemblance, but no much. I don't look like anyone at all in my family. How's your family? They're all fine, thanks. Are your niece and nephew still here? Yes, they are. They're still visiting me. Sending and receiving letters. 
Are you writing a letter? Yes. I'm writing to my family. Do you write five or six letters a week? Yes. I write five or six letters a week. Do you write letters very often? No. I hate to write letters. It takes a lot of time. It sure does. Did Robert get a letter? He got one yesterday. Does he get many letters? Yes. He gets some every day. Charles wrote me a long letter. When did he write to you? He sent the letter to me about a week ago. He hasn't even sent me a postcard yet. We wrote to Mary's sister last week. Has she written you yet? No, she hasn't. She wrote me a few days ago. Has you written to your brother yet? Yes, but haven't mailed it yet. I went to the post office half an hour ago. Why didn't you tell me? Did your friend in San Francisco write to you? Yes. I got a letter from her on Thursday. What did she have to say? She said the city was interesting and pretty. Did you write a reply to Peter's letter? Yes. I wrote one on Friday. Did you mention his last letter to you? Yes. I said I'd enjoyed his letter a lot. What are you writing? I'm writing a thank you note to the Smiths. What are you doing that for? I had dinner with them, and it's customary to write a thank you note. I wrote a letter to them applying for a job. Was it hard to write your letter of application? Yes. I wanted to sound modest but also mention my qualifications. It's always hard to write about yourself. Quitting and finding jobs. How did you find your new job? I went to an employment agency. Was it worth it to do it that way? They were able to get me something good right away. I think I'm going to change jobs. What do you want to do that for? There's not enough chance to get ahead here. But don't forget you're getting a pretty, good salary. Did it take you long to apply for a job? Too long in my opinion. What did you have to do? Speak to people, fill out forms, and wait. Is John going to quit his job next month? No, he's going to quit next March. Are his parents going to support him then? No, he isn't going to ask them for any money. I'd like to speak to the personnel manager, please. May I ask what it's about? I'd like to see him about the position advertised in today's newspaper. Certainly. Just have a seat over there for a moment. Office details. How long has that man been over there at the desk? About a minute or two, I think. Can you find out what he wants? I'll ask him right away. Has the secretary the letter yet? Yes. She's already sent them the letter. She still hasn't seen a copy of the letter to me. I forgot to tell you she gave me your copy. To whom did you send the invoice? I sent it the general sales company. Specifically, who did you address it to? I addressed it to the purchasing agent. Have you finished the report on current inventory yet? No, I haven't, but I certainly wish I had. Why haven't you finished it? I didn't have enough time to spend on it yesterday. I'm having some trouble with this sales volume report. You didn't have any trouble with your report last week. Well, there are some difficult parts in this one. I'm sorry, but I don't have any suggestions. Office conversations. What did you spend all your time on today? Checking the annual report. Was everything in it right? No. I discovered several errors. How is the mail handled? The executive secretary opens it and sorts it out. Is any record kept of incoming mail? Yes. Everything is entered on the mail register. Do you receive many inquiries about your product? Yes. There are a good number every day. You can't answer all of them personally, can you? No, unless they're obviously important. We send back a form. I'd like to dictate a letter to the alphabet company. Just a moment, please, while I get my shorthand notebook. Would you also bring me the previous correspondence with them? I've already put the file on your desk. I've been working very hard recently. How come you've been working so hard? I've been trying to impress my boss. I hope you haven't in vain. Productive office dialogue. Good morning, Sarah. How was your weekend? Good morning, John. It was relaxing, thanks. How about yours? Not bad. I spent time with family. Did you see the new project brief? Yes, I did. It looks challenging but interesting. I think we can handle it. I agree. By the way, have you heard about the upcoming team meeting? Yes, it's tomorrow at 10 a.m. What's the agenda? I think it's regarding the budget and resource allocation for the next quarter. Ah, got it. 
I'll make sure to prepare the reports in advance. By the way, did you finish the Smith account presentation? Yes, I did. I made a few updates based on the feedback we received. I can show it to you later. That sounds good. After lunch works for me. Speaking of which, any recommendations for a new lunch spot? I heard there's a new Italian place that opened up nearby. We could give it a try if you're up for it. Sounds delicious. Let's plan to go there today. Oh, and before I forget, did you receive the email about the upcoming training sessions? Yes, I did. I've already registered for the customer service workshop. That's a great idea. I'll sign up too. By the way, have you seen the sales report from last month? Not yet, but I can pull it up on my computer. Let's analyze the data together later this afternoon. Perfect. We can identify any trends that need improvement. One more thing. Did you get a chance to review the marketing campaign draft? Yes, I did. Overall, it looks impressive. I have a few suggestions that we can discuss during our meeting. Great. I'm glad you liked it. Your feedback is valuable. I'll make note of your suggestions. Absolutely. Let's make it a productive day. If you need any assistance, feel free to ask. We make a great team. Thank you, John. Likewise, let's conquer the day together. Please like and subscribe. What floor is your apartment on? It's on third floor. Is the building a walk up? No, it has a small elevator. How large is your apartment? It has four and a half rooms. Then you have two bedrooms. Right. A living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms, and a bathroom. Is this your apartment? Yes, it is. How many bedrooms do you have? Two big ones and one small. What's a cooperative apartment? In a cooperative, you actually buy the apartment. Just as you would buy a house? Yes. Then you only pay maintenance costs each month. Do you like your new apartment? Yes. I like the service in the building, too. Are there doormen and guards? Yes, and the building is close to the shopping areas. Living in a house. How much did you pay for your house? It cost $18,000. Did you have trouble getting a mortgage? No, we paid $4,000. Do you prefer a one story or a two story house? One story, I think. I do too, because there are no stairs to climb. But one story houses take more land. Your house is very large. Yes, we have enough room for guests now. Our house is too small. You don't have enough room, do you? Where's the bathroom? The bathroom is opposite that big bedroom. Is this the kitchen? Yes, it's a big kitchen, isn't it? I enjoy having a house in the suburbs. It's wonderful to have trees and a big yard. The children can play outside most of the time. And it's so much cleaner here than in the city. Using the telephone. Could you give me the number of the bag company? Is that in the city or in the suburbs? In the city, on the 10th street. Just a moment, please. What's the telephone number of the gas company? Give me a second, please. Thank you, operator. That number is Hillside 6700. I'd like to speak to Bob, please. What number are you calling? 261 4753. Sorry, you've got the wrong number. May I speak to the director, please? Who's calling, please? Tell him it's his friend from California. Just a moment, please. I'd like to speak to Mr. Brown, please. May I ask who is calling, please? Tell him it's his friend from Florida. Please hold the line while I see if he's in. Asking、please、about、like. prices. How much does this pen cost? I beg your pardon. How much does this pen cost? It's $4.50. How much is this leather billfold? It's $5.25. Does that include the tax? It's $5.44, including tax. This briefcase costs $5.50. That's fine. I'll take it. Will there be anything else? I don't believe so. Thank you. We're having on sale on leather goods today. Are office supplies on sale too? Yes. Prices have been reduced in 20%. I notice the sale prices are marked in red ink. How much are these things all together? Let's see. That'll be $21.50. I'd like to change them to my account, please. Fine. Could you give me your name, please? How much does it cost? How much are your potatoes? $0.25 cents a pound. How much would five pounds cost? Five pounds would be a dollar and a quarter. 
What does that gold pin cost? It's $21 plus taxes. How much for the small o net next to it? That one cost $12.50. What's the regular price for a refrigerator? The list price is $940. Are you selling it at a discount? Yes. The discount price is $800. What are asking for that antique mirror? That's $150. Isn't that rather expensive? Not really. Mirrors of that type are quite rare. What would it cost to have this chair repaired? I'd estimate $60 to $70. How much would it cost to replace it? Probably around $100. Money problems. Can you come along with us tomorrow? I think I can borrow enough money to go. Why couldn't you go last Thursday? Because I couldn't afford it. How much money do you have? Not very much. Do you have many dollars bills? Not very many, I'm afraid. You look upset about something. I think I've lost my money. Oh, that's what's bothering you. It's a good reason to be upset, isn't it? Are you sure you lost your money? I'm sure did. Would you please look again? I will, but I'm sure it's not here. How many pennies did you have in your bank? I had exactly 500 of them. What did you do with them? I put them in rolls of 50 pennies each. Talking about money. Have you made very much money this year? Not an awful lot. How hard have you tried? Not as hard as I could have, I'm afraid. How much did you make this week? $600. Is that your taken home pay? Yes, it is. I've got to pay a lot of bills. And I've got to pay my rent today. Money goes very fast these days, doesn't it? It certainly does. Did you sell your car? Yes. I sold it my friend Bob. Did you put the money in the bank? I deposited part of it and spent the rest. Do you have an account at that bank? I've got a special checking account. How much do you have to keep in the account? There's no minimum. Lending and borrowing money. Could you lend me a dollar until tomorrow? I can if you have change for a five. I wish I did, but I don't. Well, we can get it change easily. I need about ten dollars. What do you need it for? I need it for books and supplies. Okay, I'll lend it to you. Could I borrow some money from you for a few days? How much do you need? Could you spare four or five dollars? Yes, but I'll need the money myself before next week. What did you need the money for yesterday? I wanted it for a new suit. Did you get the money? Yes. I borrowed it from a friend. How much change have you got? Two quarters, two nickels and a dime. That's not enough to change this dollar bill. I'll lend you all of this change if you want it. Getting change. Have you got any change? What do you need? I need a change for a quarter. Here are two dimes and five pennies. Can you change this five dollar bill? I'm sorry. I don't have change. What should I do? Go to the cashier's desk. Can you change this ten dollar bill? How do you want it? A five and five ones, please. Here you are. Do you have a change for a dollar bill? Just a minute and I'll see. I need some quarters. Yes. I can change it and give you two quarter. This is a change machine. Do you really get money from it? Sure. Just put a fifty cent piece in that slot. It works. I've got quarter, two dimes, and a nickel. Getting help in stores. Do you wish some assistance? Yes. How much is that pen? This one or that one? The one next to the black one. May I help you? Yes. I'd like to look at pens. Certainly. Fountain pens or ballpoint pens? I'm looking for a good fountain pen. Could you help me, please? What can I do for you? Could I look at the wristwatch in this case? Just one moment, please, while I get the key. Hello, are you waited on? No, I'd like a ream of typing paper, please. Will there be anything else? No, I believe that's all, thank you. Is someone helping you? I beg your pardon? Could I help you with anything? No, thanks, someone is already waiting on me. Going shopping. What store did you go to yesterday? I went to the central department store. Do they have a good variety of things to choose from? They have lots to choose from, but it's all very expensive. What were you doing at that department store? I was shopping for a new suitcase. What was your friend doing there? She was trying to find a coat. I have to go shopping. Do you know what you're going to buy? Not yet, but I hope to after shopping.
I hate to go shopping, but I guess it's necessary. What time do the stores close? Most of them close at 6 o'clock. Do we still have time to go shopping? Yes. It's only 4.15 now. It seems I always have to buy a lot of things. It always seems that way to me too. I always need so many little things. They add up to a lot of money, don't they? Talking about shopping. Where do you do your shopping? I usually start at the central department store. What do you think of their selection? They have a good selection, and their prices are low, too. They're having big sale at the Greenfield Shopping Center. Anything in particular on sale? Well, they advertised linens and house furnitures. I suppose there'll be crowds of people in the store. I spent the afternoon shopping for clothes. How did you make out? Well, I found an excellent raincoat and bought some shoes. That reminds me that I have to go shopping soon. Where did you buy your coat? I bought it at the Fifth Avenue store but a long time ago. About how much did it cost? At the moment, I've forgotten how much it cost. Why did you choose the green one? To tell the truth, I really didn't have much choice in my size. Excuse my asking, but how much did you pay for it? It was on sale, and I paid only $45. Shopping for clothes. What would you like to see? I'd like to see your overcoats, please. What kind of overcoats would you like to see? I'd like to see your winter overcoats, probably wool. I'd like to look at your sweater, if I could. Certainly. Any particular style? Could I see some of the new styles, please? Of course. Please step right this way. I'm interested in seeing your summer suits. What color did you have in mind? White, or some light color, I think. Step over to this other room with me, please. The jacket you have on now seems to fit you very well. What kind of material is this? It's a mixture of cotton and wool. I'm not sure it's heavy enough for the fall weather. Here's a very popular kind of sport coat, the most recent thing. I notice there isn't much padding in the shoulders. No, it has a natural shoulder line. I like the narrow lapels and the stitching on them. Shopping for groceries. What do you call a big grocery store? It's called a supermarket. It's a convenient to see everything and pick what you want. Having carts to put things in is convenient too. How about fish tonight? I notice the clams and oysters are fresh today. That sounds very good. Let's also get a pork roast or turkey for tomorrow. Now we have sugar, salt, pepper, and flour. We also need mustard, vinegar, and cinnamon. I'll get those while you get the cabbage and celery. Fine. I'll meet you at the canned food counter. Would you please get me a bag of sugar? Do you want two or five pounds? A two-pound bag will be all right. Okay. I'll meet you at the checkout counter. How many eggs should we get? Two dozen should be enough. How much butter do you think we need? One pound is enough, don't you think? Grocery store. How much are the potatoes? I beg you pardon. How much do the potatoes cost? Fifteen cents a pound. I'd like a bag of onions and a jar of olives. Do you need fruits? Yes. A box of cherries and a bunch of grapes. I'll put all this in a box with your other groceries. I forgot to buy some rice. How much do you want? Would you please get me two pounds? All right, a two-pound bag. Don't you need milk or cream? Yes. Let's get a pint of cream and two quarts of milk. We can get a two-quart container. Let's get some sour cream too. Please give me two bottles of milk. All of our milk is in cartons. Cartons are all right, but I prefer bottles. Cartons are more convenient. Talking about eating. What did you have for breakfast? I had a coffee, toast, and eggs. How did you have your eggs? Soft boiled, as usual. How about a cup of coffee? That sounds good. I always enjoy coffee after work. I like it best in the morning. Would you like to have an orange? Thanks, but I don't think so. Oranges are good for you. I know, but I had one about an hour ago. Where did you have lunch today? I ate at the cafeteria with John. Did you have a good lunch? Yes, I had a hot roast beef sandwich. There's a cafeteria over there. Didn't you eat before we left? Yes, but I'm hungry again. Well, I'm still digesting my lunch. Breakfast and lunch at a restaurant. I'd like to order breakfast. What can I bring you? I'd like cough, scrambled eggs, and bacon.
I'll bring the coffee furts. Please give me a ham sandwich. Would you like it on rye bread or white? Rye bread, please, with mustard. Here it is. I'd like a piece of pie now and coffee later, please. Do you want cream for your coffee? Yes, cream but no sugar. I'll bring the pie right away. A hamburger and a cup of coffee, please. Here you are. Do you want sugar for your coffee? Yes, please. Everything was delicious. Yes, and the service have been really good too. How much do I owe you? 62 cents. Ordering food. Could we have a table for four? There's a nice table right there by the window. May we also have the menu right away? I'll get the menu immediately. Would you care for some roast beef? No, I'll have sirloin steak. How do you like your steak? I'd prefer it medium rare. Would you like to have soup? Yes. Creamed onion, please. Mashed, boiled, or French fried potatoes? I'll have the French fried. What vegetables would you like with your dinner? Carrots, please, and corn with cream sauce. What kind of dressing do you want on your salad French? I believe I'll take Russian dressing tonight. Would you like to order a dessert? What kinds of pie do you have? Peach, lemon cream, and apple. I'd like lemon cream, please. Having dinner at a restaurant. What'll you have, miss? May I have a menu, please? A menu? Here you are, miss. Now, I'll need a few minutes to look it over. I'll have the sirloin steak listed here. How do you like your steak well done? No, I'd prefer it medium rare. I'm sure you'll enjoy our steak. Would you care for soup? Yes, I would. Vegetable soup, please. What would you like for your main course? I'm going to have beef stew for my main course. Would you care for dessert after your main course? Possibly. What kind of pie do you have? Peach, banana cream, and blueberry chiffon. I think I'd like to try the banana cream. Coffee, tea or milk? Coffee with the meal, please. Do you want cream and sugar? No, I'll take my coffee black. Dinner conversations. I hope you're hungry tonight. I'm sure I'll have a good appetite. There's a menu right beside you. Thanks. I see it. What do you usually have for dinner? Potatoes and some kind of meat. Do you Eve have anything else? Oh, have other things for example, fish rice and vegetables. The fish is delicious in this restaurant, I hear. It's a popular dish in this country. But I always choose steak if possible. Well, I'm going to have fish. Do you like vegetables? I like some but not all. What kind do you like? I like lettuce and radishes and a few others. Do you always drink tea with your meals? Not always, but usually. How do you like your tea? With sugar and lemon. Personal health. You look very pale. I feel rather dizzy, and I have a headache. Maybe you're catching a cold. You're probably right. You went to the doctor today, didn't you? Yes. I got once a year for a checkup. What did he say? He said my health was good. Have you put on weight recently? Probably have. Maybe you don't get enough exercise. I really don't, but I'm careful about eating. You certainly look very health to me. I've been feeling very well lately. Haven't you gotten a little heavier? Yes, I think I have. You certainly look happy about something. I've lost some weight. You look much better. I feel better too. Common health problems. I have a terrible headache today. Have you taken any aspirin for it? Yes. I'll get over it soon. Lying down for a few minutes might help it too. I've got a cold in my head. It's probably this terrible weather. It's giving everyone a cold. Hope I don't catch one. What are you taking for your cold? Just the usual things water and fruit juice. You'll be over it soon then. I really hope you're right. You look tired. Are you ill? I think I've caught a cold. How can tell? My throat is sore. You don't look very well. I don't feel very well either. Why don't you rest for a few minutes? I think I will. At the doctor's office. I think I've got a fever. Do you feel very hot? Yes, and I've been sweating a lot. You'd better go to a doctor. I feel quite sick, doctor. Can you tell me about it? I've got a headache and stomach cramps. I'd better take your temperature. Is the cut on my hand dangerous? 
No, but there's a little infection. What can you do about an infection? I'll use an antibiotic, and it'll be gone by tomorrow. Have you ever had pneumonia? Yes, I had it about two years ago. Have you ever had measles? No, I've never had measles. Do I have anything serious, doctor? Only a slight cold. Will it last very? No, it'll probably go away in a day or two. Please like and subscribe.